Indomethacin, a powerful non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, is renowned for its potent mechanism of action in targeting inflammation and providing effective pain relief. By inhibiting the production of prostaglandins, indomethacin helps to reduce pain, swelling, and inflammation associated with various conditions, such as arthritis, gout, and ankylosing spondylitis. Unlike other NSAIDs, indomethacin selectively inhibits both cyclooxygenase 1, COX-1, and cyclooxygenase 2, COX-2 enzymes, thereby effectively suppressing the formation of prostaglandins. COX-1 enzymes are responsible for maintaining the normal functions of the stomach and kidneys, while COX-2 enzymes contribute to inflammation. This dual inhibition allows for targeted pain relief while minimizing potential gastrointestinal and renal side effects. Thanks to its unique mechanism of action, indomethacin has proven to be highly effective in managing various inflammatory conditions, providing patients with much-needed relief from pain and discomfort. However, it is important to note that indomethacin should be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional, as its usage may be associated with potential side effects and contraindications. Overall, indomethacin's mechanism of action in targeting inflammation offers a promising solution for individuals seeking effective pain relief associated with inflammatory conditions. Understanding Inflammation and Its Role in Pain Inflammation is a complex biological response triggered by the body's immune system to protect against harmful stimuli such as pathogens and tissue damage. While inflammation is a necessary process for healing, it can also cause pain, swelling, and discomfort. Understanding the underlying mechanisms of inflammation is crucial for developing effective treatment strategies. Inflammatory responses are mediated by various chemical messengers, including prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are lipid compounds derived from arachidonic acid, a fatty acid released from cell membranes during tissue injury or infection. Prostaglandins play a key role in promoting inflammation by dilating blood vessels, increasing vascular permeability, and sensitizing pain receptors. By targeting the production of prostaglandins, indomethacin interrupts the inflammatory cascade and alleviates pain. Indomethacin achieves this by inhibiting both COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, which are responsible for converting arachidonic acid into prostaglandins. This dual inhibition effectively reduces the levels of prostaglandins, leading to decreased inflammation and pain. However, it is important to note that inflammation is a complex process involving various mediators and pathways. While indomethacin primarily targets the prostaglandin pathway, other inflammatory pathways may still contribute to pain and inflammation. Therefore, indomethacin may not be suitable for all inflammatory conditions and alternative treatments may be necessary in certain cases. Mechanism of Action of Indomethacin Indomethacin exerts its anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects through its unique mechanism of action. Unlike other NSAIDs that primarily inhibit COX-2 enzymes, Indomethacin inhibits both COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, offering a broader spectrum of action. This dual inhibition allows for more targeted pain relief and reduced inflammation. COX-1 enzymes are constitutively expressed in various tissues and are involved in maintaining normal physiological functions, such as maintaining the integrity of the stomach lining and promoting proper kidney function. In contrast, COX-2 enzymes are induced during inflammation and contribute to the synthesis of prostaglandins that promote pain and swelling. By selectively inhibiting both COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, indomethacin effectively suppresses the production of prostaglandins, leading to reduced inflammation and pain. This dual inhibition is what sets indomethacin apart from other NSAIDs and contributes to its potent analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. It is important to note that indomethacin's mechanism of action is not limited to coax inhibition. It also affects other inflammatory mediators and pathways, including leukotrienes and cytokines. However, the precise details of these additional mechanisms are still being studied and understood. Indications for indomethacin use Indomethacin is commonly prescribed for the treatment of various inflammatory conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disorder characterized by joint inflammation, pain, and swelling. Indomethacin helps alleviate these symptoms by targeting the underlying inflammation. Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease that causes pain and stiffness. Indomethacin can provide relief by reducing inflammation in the affected joints. Gout Gout is a type of arthritis caused by the accumulation of uric acid crystals in the joints. Indomethacin helps relieve the pain and swelling associated with gout attacks. 
Ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic inflammatory disease primarily affecting the spine. Indomethacin is commonly used to manage pain and inflammation in individuals with this condition. Tendinitis. Tendinitis is the inflammation of a tendon, often caused by repetitive motions or overuse. Indomethacin can help reduce pain and inflammation in affected tendons. Bursitis. Bursitis is the inflammation of the fluid-filled sacs, bursi, that cushion the joints. Indomethacin can provide relief by targeting the underlying inflammation. It is important to note that indomethacin should be used only under the guidance and supervision of a healthcare professional. The dosage and duration of treatment will depend on the specific condition being treated and the individual patient's needs. Dosage and administration of indomethacin. The dosage of indomethacin varies depending on the condition being treated and the individual patient's response to the medication. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and administration instructions provided by a healthcare professional. Indomethacin is available in various forms, including oral capsules, extended release capsules, and suppositories. The choice of formulation will depend on the patient's needs and preferences, as well as the severity of the condition being treated. When taking indomethacin orally, it is generally recommended to take the medication with food or milk to minimize the risk of gastrointestinal side effects. The specific dosage and frequency of administration will be determined by the healthcare professional based on the patient's condition and response to treatment. For individuals using indomethacin suppositories, proper insertion techniques should be followed to ensure optimal absorption of the medication. It is essential to consult with a healthcare professional or read the product instructions for guidance on suppository administration. Side effects and precautions when using indomethacin. Like all medications, indomethacin can cause side effects, although not everyone experiences them. Common side effects may include gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, and indigestion. These side effects can often be minimized by taking indomethacin with food or milk. In some cases, indomethacin may cause more serious side effects, including gastrointestinal ulcers, bleeding, and perforation. These complications are more likely to occur in individuals with a history of gastrointestinal conditions, such as ulcers or bleeding disorders. It is important to discuss any pre-existing medical conditions or medications with a healthcare professional before starting indomethacin. Other potential side effects of indomethacin include dizziness, headache, drowsiness, fluid retention, and elevated blood pressure. These side effects are generally mild and resolve on their own. However, if any severe or persistent side effects occur, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Indomethacin is contraindicated in individuals with a known hypersensitivity to NSAIDs, as well as those with a history of asthma, allergic reactions, or other NSAID-induced allergic conditions. It is important to inform a healthcare professional of any known allergies or adverse reactions to medications before starting indomethacin. Comparing indomethacin to other NSAIDs. While indomethacin offers unique benefits with its dual inhibition of COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, it is essential to consider other NSAIDs when determining the most suitable treatment option for an individual patient. Other NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, and diclofenac, also inhibit COX enzymes and provide effective pain relief. However, their selectivity for COX-1 or COX-2 may differ from that of indomethacin. This selectivity can affect the overall side effect profile and the specific conditions for which they are most effective. For instance, COX-2 selective NSAIDs such as celecoxib have a reduced risk of gastrointestinal side effects compared to non-selective NSAIDs like indomethacin. However, COX-2 selective NSAIDs may carry an increased risk of cardiovascular complications. Therefore, the choice of NSAID should be based on the individual patient's needs, overall health, and risk factors for side effects. Effectiveness of indomethacin in pain relief. Numerous studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of indomethacin in providing pain relief for various inflammatory conditions. In a study comparing the efficacy of different NSAIDs for rheumatoid arthritis, indomethacin was found to be superior in reducing pain and inflammation compared to other NSAIDs. In another study investigating the use of indomethacin in acute gout attacks, researchers found that indomethacin provided rapid and effective relief from pain and inflammation with a high response rate among study participants. The effectiveness of indomethacin in managing ankylosing spondylitis has also been well documented.
A study comparing indomethacin to placebo in individuals with ankylosing spondylitis found that indomethacin significantly reduced pain, stiffness, and disease activity, leading to improved quality of life. These studies, along with many others, highlight the efficacy of indomethacin in providing pain relief and reducing inflammation in various inflammatory conditions. Research and Studies on Indomethacin's Mechanism of Action The mechanism of action of indomethacin has been the subject of extensive research and investigation. Scientists have focused on understanding the precise interactions between indomethacin and COX enzymes, as well as the downstream effects on prostaglandin synthesis and inflammation. One study examined the structural features of indomethacin and its interaction with COX enzymes using molecular modeling techniques. The findings shed light on the specific binding sites and molecular interactions that contribute to the inhibition of COX enzymes by indomethacin. Other studies have investigated the effects of indomethacin on various inflammatory mediators and pathways beyond prostaglandin synthesis. For example, research suggests that indomethacin may modulate the production of leukotrienes, another group of lipid mediators involved in inflammation. By targeting multiple inflammatory pathways, indomethacin may provide a more comprehensive approach to pain relief and inflammation management. Conclusion The Future of Indomethacin in Pain Management Indomethacin's mechanism of action in targeting inflammation offers a promising solution for individuals seeking effective pain relief associated with inflammatory conditions. Its ability to selectively inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes sets it apart from other NSAIDs, allowing for targeted pain relief while minimizing potential gastrointestinal and renal side effects. While indomethacin has proven to be highly effective in managing various inflammatory conditions, it is important to use it under the guidance and supervision of a healthcare professional. Indomethacin may be associated with potential side effects and contraindications, which should be carefully considered and discussed with a healthcare professional. Research and studies on indomethacin's mechanism of action continue to shed light on its interactions with inflammatory pathways and its potential for broader applications in pain management. By further understanding the intricacies of indomethacin's mechanism of action, researchers aim to develop more targeted and efficient treatments for pain and inflammation. In conclusion, indomethacin's potent mechanism of action in targeting inflammation opens up new possibilities for effective pain relief in individuals suffering from inflammatory conditions. As research progresses, indomethacin may continue to play a crucial role in pain management, improving the quality of life for countless individuals.